and I just love cocoa butter. Slather it over your life. Hey cool kids, it's your girl Anitra here with Different by Design where faith and fashion connect. And I am back with another video. Today is Juneteenth, and I figured what better way to celebrate this day than to share with you my top beauty essentials. That's right, the things I know, the products I know that make my melanin pop. That's right, these products I've grown to love over the years. I thought this video would be a great addition to my channel content. I'm just sharing with you some of my top beauty essential items that I've grown to love over the years. Items that I know work well with deeper skin tones like mine. I'm just so excited today to share these items with you. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. So the first item in my beauty essentials kit is anything by the black radiance brand yes over the years it i've tested it it's tried and true from the pressed powders to the contour powders to their blushes highlighters their uh primer you name it black radiance if you are deeply melanated if you are like me if you are a deeper brown girl or if you are just a brown girl in general, Black Radiance has us. And it is a drugstore brand. Their products are super affordable. They are high quality products. My only, uh, I guess, pet peeve, especially when it comes to their pressed powders, is the packaging. I feel like sometimes it is just way too flimsy. Uh, for the, the powders, there's been several times where um, I've purchased the powder, I put it in my little makeup kit and, you know, happened to drop my purse or drop my makeup bag by accident and now I'm cleaning powder off of everything. Um, but let me just show you some of my favorite beauty products by them, my tried and true products. The first product is their pressed powder. And I am a beautiful bronze. I love the, their, their color names. I'm a beautiful bronze. Um, I switched to the Black Radiance Press Powders after CoverGirl discontinued their Queen collection. Um, that was just like my ultimate press powder um, go-to. But once they discontinued it, I had to find a replacement. And Black, like I said, Black Radiance had me. Their press powder is amazing. Um, I have this one is used and I have another one waiting in the wings for when I run out of this one just in case they try to discontinue my shade. I'm, I'm prepared until I find another brand that could uh, take its place. But I love their pressed powder. Um, I also use their pressed powders, um, the deeper colors like this is black coffee and I have a rich mahogany as well. Let me go to my, be my uh, beauty stash. Coffee, black Another black coffee. I do have a rich mahogany as well, but um, the deeper colored pressed powders, I use those for uh, contouring. Let's see, what else do we have in the line of black radiance that's easily accessible? So I have some of their, uh, this is their artisan color baked bronzer. And this is in the color Ginger Snap. Give you my YouTuber hand here. <laughs> this is in the color Ginger Snap. I have several others. Some of the colors that I've loved, they've come to discontinue them. This is another Artisan uh, Baked Blush in the color Plum Sorbet. I also have the Rose Gold. Don't judge me because they are still in the packaging. I'm a packaging girl. I like things to be neat. This is the color Warm Berry. 
one of my discontinued faves rum spice which i literally just scrape the leftover sprinkles <laughs> in the pan um until i find another one that is uh very similar to the one they discontinued i also have the artisan big bronzer in blackberry and i have several of them and like i said i just love black radiance products i love everything about their brand uh, my only complaint is the packaging i have the toasted almond and let's see and i love their true complexion contour palettes i actually go to the dark one the dark to deep i bought it in light to medium as well but i don't really use this one as much um more than likely if i run out of the highlighter in the dark to deep palette i'll probably just use the highlight in this one until i'm able to get the replacement for this one but these are the contour palettes the true complexion contour palettes and as you can see let me take this off as you can see the shades are super deep super pigmented and I love the highlight as you can see it's very used I use this color here which is oh can't even see it um, what's this called this middle shade is called the the sculpt so I basically rely on these two the highlight and the sculpt out of the dark deep palette to pretty much do my face as you can see here I very rarely use the contour shade because it's a little dark for me um, I guess it depends on the look that I'm going for I've tried it before um, primarily in like the fall winter but um, I typically go to the sculpt and the highlight in the dark deep palette but I love them they are the perfect addition to brown girl makeup um, I also just found by the black radius collection their color perfect highlighting powders um, just randomly in CVS one day and I had a $5 coupon and I said, hey, why not? And I have the color Twilight Glow, which is like a pretty plummy color. And I also have the Sun Kissed Glow, which I am super excited to try both of them. Um, I know outside is open now, but with the mask, it's like, it's taking the fun out of makeup. Like if I can only do this part of my face product all down here is pointless so i can't wait to actually open these and use them um but yes i am in love with the black radiance collection and they are key in my makeup collection item number two in my beauty essentials is also a drugstore product and that is the elf gel powder eyebrow kit in the color medium so i am a drugstore product junkie before i spend zillions and trillions of dollars on makeup i will definitely go to a drugstore brand first and i will test several of them until i find one that i i grow to love and elf is also a brand that has been amazing when it comes to things like brushes um even their uh, brush cleaner is great. And their eyebrow kit over the years has been amazing. I have tested it out several times. I purchased, let me find it, go to my beauty kit. So when I first started looking for um, an eyebrow kit to or just like eyebrow gel or eyebrow powder when I really got into eyebrows um, I purchased elf's uh, eyebrow gel their eyebrow liner lock what is it called the lock on liner and brow cream I bought it in medium brown now this is just a standalone brow gel no powder included and this is by elf this is super dark it was too dark for me so i discovered their brow kit which is also in the color medium 
and for whatever reason the gel in the brow kit is slightly lighter than the actual standalone brow gel so i've been using this for several years um it has not failed me as of yet it does have in the kit let me open it it is very used it comes with a little brush but it has the the uh, gel here as you can see i've already hit pan and it has the setting powder as well so this is amazing for me um it's a product that i've grown to love over the years like i said super affordable it is a drugstore product you can find it anywhere and um i know that it won't let me down i as you can see here i do my brows i believe in a spoolie necessary for brow perfection i it is a pet peeve of mine when i see women fill their brows and don't brush the product in to make it look natural the kool-aid man look is out we are canceling the kool-aid man look in 2020 it should have never made its way to 2020 but we are canceling the kool-aid man look in 2020 but the spoolie that i have is also by elf it is essential when i do my brows and as you can see with this bang but i fill my brows brush in the product fix any imperfections with uh some concealer and call it a day item number three in my beauty essentials is maybelline great lash that's right the pink and green container that it seems like it is becoming harder and harder to find and also it seems like the only way you can find it is if you get it with the big fluffy brush the big huge whose eyelashes need this much of a brush to put on mascara but the color is black is black and when i can't find this one i just get the maybelline great lash black is black with the black top and this has the normal size brush so this is the one i'm currently using now let me just stop here and say that i hate false lashes right now my face is false lash free anytime you see me my face will be false lash free i am from the school of thought that believes that false lashes are for special occasions like weddings you're going to a party or something like that or you're on a runway other than that what purpose do false lashes serve i feel like if you put on a couple coats of mascara you get the deepest darkest mascara you can find you hit the base of your lash line i'm sorry you hit the base of your uh, lashes with some black eyeliner get as close to your lash line as possible on the top it makes your eyelashes look fuller hit it up again with some with some mascara and call it a day why am i walking around looking like snuffy why am i walking around looking like girl cartoons back in the day that just had these crazy eyelashes why am i walking around looking like baby bop i can barely see it's like this girls walking around like this and this is the eyelash like why why just hit it up with some mascara and call it a day that's been my approach it's been working it works i don't get it if i ever need lashes like i said it's going to be a special occasion or i'm being somebody's fashion show and since i don't see me doing either of the two anytime soon it's the great lash for me it's going to be a no for me on the eyelashes and we're just going to stick with the tried and true maybelline great lash care to debate hit me up in the comments below tell me how you feel it won't change my mind but you can tell me how you feel <laughs> item number four in my beauty essentials is max pro long wear concealer as you can see it is basically empty but no worries because I have one waiting in the wings. 
freshly delivered waiting to be used when I run out of this one. Here's the thing with MAG products that annoys me to no end. It's very chic, but this glass packaging is the ultimate setup. Let me tell you why. If you, like me, in the morning, you give yourself some time to get ready, you, you know, you calculate, you you don't like rushing so like i said you give yourself some time to get ready and you like to get into you in the morning you know and get ready because it's a whole experience and a lot of times that's what gets your day together if you're like me and you're doing your makeup and you're dressed for the day and you know you're putting the finishing touches on your look and you're basically ready to leave the house and then the slightest thing knocks your makeup bag on the floor and you happen to have this inside and you basically now have to stop your entire day and clean up glass and product by the way this is about i want to say 22 23 dollars a bottle this small bottle you have to stop and clean up your hard-earned money off the floor glass and product that you know you'll never see again that the floor didn't need you have to stop and clean it up because they want to use the cute little glass packaging. And the other thing is, it's also the setup because the glass packaging always has product left on the inside. Exhibits A, B, let's see, do I have another one? That's enough. We'll use this one as an example as well. But A, B, and C. It's like this one I'm currently still using. But technically, if these weren't glass, if these had the ability for the tops to come off, I could have basically scraped these empty before I even went out to purchase another one. And yes, we know there's the Back to Mac program where you can take all your empties back and get yourself a free lipstick. But I have to buy... I have to return with six empty products. There's nothing like having to turn over something that technically is not empty. <laughs> it's just there's no way to open it, at least that I'm aware of. Maybe I need to hit up YouTube University and find out if there's a way to open these other than breaking it, breaking the glass, but it's like, why? Um, I use the Prolong Wear Concealer in NC50. Um, because I am a brown girl with a yellow undertone. And so um, I actually switched to the Pro Long Wear because I was once a Matchmaster fanatic. And I will show you. Let me see. I thought I had one available. I was a Matchmaster fanatic. Here it is. And MAC decided they wanted to discontinue it. This is the MAC Mas Match Master Concealer. And it is in the color 8. And it used to be the Roll Up Concealer Stick, which I loved. It's an exact match to my complexion. I'm not really a fan. Another beauty pet peeve. I'm not really a fan of the overly highlighted and contoured look so I know a lot of people love the lighter concealer under eye and the overly sculpted look but I like the the natural beat on a daily basis every once in a while you'll catch me with the bold lip which I love and that's also on my list we'll get there but I'm not really a fan of the you can tell I have makeup on look I prefer the more neutral beat with the if i'm doing an eye then the lip is neutral if i'm doing the lip the eye is neutral like that that's my school of thought if i'm going bold on the cheeks then that's the focal point for today but i'm not really because my face the way my face is set up it's just it doesn't do as much as i love makeup my skin just after a while the feel of makeup on my face i'm ready to wash it I like concealers that 
minimize the hyperpigmentation, minimize the the under eye circles that um, decide to show up when they want to, especially when I have something important to do or pictures to take or I don't get enough sleep. Um, the Any under eye circles, any hyperpigmentation from leftover uh, blemishes um, that announce that Aunt Flo is on her way, you know, things like that. Um, pretty much for the most part, that's all I use concealer for. I'm not even a fan of liquid foundation. Like I said, if you have a difference of opinion, hit me up in the comments below. But I'm a pressed powder girl and concealer girl and call it a day. Um, so yes, this Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC is an all-time beauty fave of mine. Item number five. So item number five on my beauty essentials list is a red lip. And not just any red lip, but Ruby Woo, also by MAC. When I tell you I have searched far and wide for the perfect red lip for me as a deeper brown girl that does not make me look like I was eating popsicles because that used to be my thing as a child. Like as a child, as a little girl, I love playing dress up. I couldn't wait to be able to wear lipstick. And so what I would do is I would just always ask for the red popsicle, the red ice pop, the red water ice, red Kool-Aid, anything that could make my lip red. That was me. And so as an adult, I searched high, I searched low, I searched far and I searched wide. And I finally discovered a red lip, not just any red lip, a matte red lip because red lips and satin finish on me, negative soldier. Red lip that is matte and has a blue undertone that makes your teeth look whiter. It makes the melanin pop and draws the attention here. Perfect combination. And I feel like Max Ruby Woo is the perfect red for me. It is a retro matte. It is a throwback color. It's a classic color. Most of you have heard of it before. It is a great red. Um, it just, like I said, it just perfects the pout. It's perfect. It does not move. I literally have to scrape it off at the end of the day, scrub it off at the end of the day when I want to take it off and there's still a stain left over. That's the type of red I'm talking about, where I can drink things from a straw, I can drink things from a cup, I can eat food, and my lip is still there and I don't have to worry about it being smeared and smudged because it's not moving until I want it gone. That is the red lip that I love. And I, like I said, I love matte. I can't do satin finishes, can't do cream finishes. It, it's just not for me. It needs to be matte. And this is the perfect addition to my beauty essentials. Um, also in the matte collection, when it comes to lippies, like I said, it has to be matte. Um, I have the perfect pink, which is flat out fabulous which is like a pretty magenta color I have a recent find a recent try which is so shawed which to me is like the perfect orange as you can see the perfect orange color perfect for summer and I have a few nudes that I love as well. Um, and in the fall, winter, I have some deeper colors like Instigator and a Punk Couture and um, let's see, Couture. I also love colors like Heroin and Men Love Mystery, which I've actually worn in um, recent videos. So if you watch my uh, Boohoo haul. I'm wearing Men Love Mystery. I'll put the cards here. And if you watch my, let's see, which video was that? I cannot remember. 
I think it's one of my iced coffee conversations. Um, the one, so do you want to be different? Do you really want to be different? That's the name of it. I'll also add it in the cards, but I'm wearing flat out fabulous in that one. And so I'm wearing Ruby Woo in um, my iced coffee conversation about regrets. So, and also my uh, spring summer she in haul. So all available now on my channel. Feel free to just click around, browse, make yourself at home, watch as many videos as you have time to watch. Um, there's more content coming soon, but just, I love a bold lip. I love a neutral beat bold lip slightly highlighted like that's that's my judge like a whole lot of eyeshadow i kind of gave that up a couple years ago it's just it's I, I i like what i like my style is evolving as i'm getting older as i'm becoming more mature um there's certain things it's just like mm, they don't really mm, it's not really for me right now like i'm not really feeling it i love a lip i also love pushing the envelope when it comes to lip colors because as a believer for whatever reason people don't understand their freedom to bring it back to to the Juneteenth when it comes to fashion choices sometimes in the church people don't understand um while liberty is not licensed um the Lord did give us the gift of being creative at least me he gave me the gift of creativity and he gave me, he made me who I am. He made me me. He created me a woman. So that pretty much means that I am free to walk in everything womanhood brings. Because if I have to deal with the negativity of I flow showing up every month without fail, then I should be able to freely enjoy a red lip in the house of the Lord and not have the church mothers looking at me like I'm out here trying to catch him. I'm not. I got dressed for me. I love being me. I love my complexion. I love the skin that I'm in. I'm not going to apologize for it, ma'am. So I like to push the envelope <laughs> sometimes just to see the reaction. Don't say nothing to me, but just I like to see the reaction. And so um, that's that. Also in my beauty essentials is some cocoa butter yes i use cocoa butter and it's necessary because lotion on this face is a lost cause i will sweat it off and it'll, it, it's a waste of product cocoa butter sticks are essential they help they have healing properties they give me a glow that uh works well under the makeup it keeps me moisturized it makes my skin look more hydrated sometimes and i just love cocoa butter slather it over your life most people say use coconut oil you have you have problems man problems you know student loans just put coconut oil on it cocoa butter works as well finally in my beauty essentials um, is a great lip gloss and one of my faves right now is by EOS now we've all seen the little EOS eggs this is in sweet mint and the pack that I bought also comes with the stick so you have options they're both the same flavor or the same <laughs> same flavor yeah basically because they taste amazing but this is my favorite also, um, on the honorable mentions list, I don't have it in front of me right now, but there's the Bath and Body Works version um, of the mint lip gloss. It's Big Low. I do remember that, but I, I think it's some initials in, in front of the Big Low, but um, it's like a sweet mint. They have other flavors, other brands as well, but the green one, the mint one is perfect. It tastes amazing. It has cooling properties. It's moisturizing it's a great experience all around so i highly recommend it but eos for the win throw it in your purse i saved the empty ones because my niecey pie likes to play with them 
and so I have several stashed in various places in my home thanks to my pumpkin but this I love I've been using them for several years no complaints and yes that concludes today's beauty essentials video like I said tell me in the comments below what are some of your beauty faves tell me what you think of my beauty faves um yes i am serving all the melanin just embracing the skin that i'm in the skin that the lord himself decided he saw fit to bless me with and to allow anyone else to tell me that what the lord said was good is not another human being that also has to stand before the throne of God to give an account on their life and their own actions to allow them to tell me that something God said was good already when he created it is not good it's crazy and it took me several years to get to this point and so I'm just going to continue to radiate and just embrace the melanin that God blessed me with for the rest of the day thanks so much for watching this video um like comment subscribe thanks so much to my new subbies out there i see you the channel has grown a lot over the past couple weeks and i'm just grateful i see you i'm responding to comments thanks so much for commenting and giving feedback i'm just super excited for where the channel is going we might not be 10 million strong yet but we're definitely growing thanks so much for joining the movement Again, I'm your girl Anitra with Different by Design, the place where faith and fashion connect. And you have a great Juneteenth. Melanie!